is that there isn't one If a house divided can't stand We've been sitting but sitting Officials letting you starve and die They say for a party I say it's dog went to America's awful lie Sniffing the party line Intoxicated from white That fake superiority Created by authority To convince the parts He's still one cast up Cause at least you not black And if at least you not that Then if you see and got mad That the elite eat on backs of your labor You point at your neighbor instead of up To keep you off track They told you your sins weren't sins But beneath that hatred is shame Your humanity was picked and sold With the cotton of slave System is fucked We benefit passively White liberals and such Make a social identity From giving a fuck But that privilege they may acknowledge They ain't giving it up We ain't living it much The ego's driving the car And it just depends on where it got its license How many of us really choose our own thoughts and vices You don't get paid But you a walking advertisement Made us all addicted to fame So that we work for free Millions factors Cause their schools ain't teach them how to find them If they get to choose They pick the ones that they're once aligned with Can you track your opinion to its origin? If not, I hate them We move without intent They profit when we not decisive Rappers been lazily Referencing the matrix for years Who knew algorithms would really dictate what we cheer? Too lazy to care Afraid to look inward We live in our own noose For we live in our own truth Fake tweets about how you love everyone You won't even wear a mask to save somebody grandmother Entitled to the lies of freedom you in denial I seen this shit for a while It's lethal man, word to Dan Glover You can't fake lightning but you can plan thunder uh. Pay a racist brand before we pay attention I sit in damn wonder Yeah And everyone talking generational wealth But outside making money for ourselves We won't give the next generation no help May already be too late to say the fucking planet If we don't stop playing There won't be no more generations to help We train people for survival of the fittest In traumatic conditions and sold them things to kill them We made life into a gamble in the name of capitalism Then tried to hit the democracy switch When COVID hit and now it's destined to fail You can't abuse populations, leave them destitute and vacant And then ask them to care about anything but their next move Our own nation to blame, so I get why we at the club Still I ain't say I'm not enraged, I want better from us I just don't expect it Trauma is cyclical, the most likely ones to neglect are the neglected They have future selling, you molly lean Percocet And you think for a check they need a scheme on vaccine injections? A lot of the soft bigotry of low expectations A lot of fetishization Celebrating regressive themes in the name of progression And when something truly powerful come, it's hesitation And there's this fishy correlation between what's considered cool and what profits for corporations Rappers streaming tens of mills considered not as popping Cause on their next endeavor, no labor loan's an option So vacancy across the culture So when they say they do it for it, man, I gotta wonder The only culture is validate wins and win equals money Truths like my chest in 06 is beneath with a rugby I don't even like talking this direct I ain't no book report ass rapper But I object to the marriage to greed and clout Without heat and doubt of what winning means Ask why we on different teams We don't play the same sport Started getting to some places I've been trying to go And looking around like, yo, this ain't what I came for So if I gotta give up what's righteous to get it, you can keep it Fuck a popular lie, I'd rather be a truthful secret Herd immunity, the truth and self-assessment Truth is, if not for COVID, Trump would have won re-election in a landslide So we evaded Armageddon for good old store brand depression But if a leader more savvy and less sociopathic with true fascist aspirations come along It's gonna be tragic, 74 million proved if the right rhetoric is used We could end up on the wrong side of World War II too And to defeat white supremacy, you gotta first want to defeat white supremacy. I don't think most of us really do. How many white mirror convos really bearing fruit? The only hope is that this moment in history looks the same in both timelines of what the end could be, whether this the infection rising up and we fighting quail, or if it outscraps us and humanity just dies and fails. It was always gonna get worse for it got better. Racism was never gonna go quietly to the night. It never will, but I do believe that it along with greed could make its way out of our institutions so that all are free one day. I ain't say that it will, but today looks like today And both versions of the story so gonna grab you a quill It depends what we do, there's only one person The future starts and ends with, it's you This is Buck, Craig, how you doing man, you good? Oh, I'm dope mate, fair beans and that Fucking, yes, we, I just recorded a video weirdly enough aye, yeah. We just had a, a hunger breaks, which aye, is an all day breakfast It's pretty dope It was not pretty dope that was well, <clears throat> pretty decent, we can give it. We but. do all that dope shit, so mm. I feel like it needs to be pretty dope. And if it isn't, we'll lie about it. Aye. So, it's pretty so, dope. Let's start the show. Aye. Uh, that was Marlon Craft with State of the Union. 
We start off, Craig. Are you ready to podcast? I am ready to podcast, Stephen. Thank you. Me. Right, so we're back. Fucked it. As always. Aye. We are back, Craig, though. This is fucking awesome. Uh, aye. Do yeah. I tell the people why we stopped? Should be like like full on this thing. Aye. Uh, so I had an idea because the. I, I, I don't know. I, I think the podcast weren't getting like as much views as I would like. So and you thought, let's do less. <laughs> not exactly what I thought. Not exactly. I, I thought we'd be able to do them more with a different, mm. different way. That we done this. So with the other podcasts we do, our sister podcast, the Besides the Norm podcast, we get guests on from pretty much all over the world. It seems at this point, um, we talk about like sort of their stories and stuff like that, like real interesting people a lot of the time. I thought instead of doing the sort of like radio aspect of what we do, like playing different tunes and stuff like that, because we sort of very rarely talk about the tunes because there's no real need. To do that, but just showcase. We let the music fucking... speak for itself. Oh god, I don't. I tried to shy away for saying that, but yes, that's pretty much. Well, what I we thought I'd go fucking body. Oh, you know, see, you're doing whatever other radio hosts. I do, aye, aye. Does, aye. but but aye. in an ironic way. In an ironic way. Aye. Aye. So yes, so I thought um, we'll take the idea from the other podcast, which seemed to be going so well, and still is. Uh, we would take that for the hip hop side of things. We'd. Specifically, concentrate on getting like guests in for podcasts and stuff. T- turns out, um, trying to get in touch with a lot of the bigger rappers that we hadn't before is a lot more difficult than we thought. Mm. Um, should we tell people about Slick Rack? What happened with Slick Rack? Oh, aye. Uh, well, it basically, it seems like some of the, maybe not them all, but at least Slick Rack we recognise, we got in touch with him. Through his agent, and his agent was the first, almost pretty much the first thing to go back in touch with was, what budget do you have? Yeah, almost uh, signalling that they're looking for some fucking money here. Yeah, yeah. Which is not really what we do. This is a side hobby for us, and literally can't afford it. And really literally can't afford it. It's a side hobby for us, and it's like just a fucking awesome thing we enjoy doing. Mm. Uh, there is no money in it for us since twenty fourteen. We've spent over a grand. Yeah. On just making. A podcast of some sort. Basically, yeah. Early years with equipment and things like that. It's been more than a grand. Quite easily more than a grand. Mm-hmm. We're a boy here away for two, I would, I would argue. Probably, aye. Like, just all over the years, like, buying yeah, stuff. Yeah, just and... buying stuff for videos and mm-hmm. keeping up with subscriptions and things like that. Buying songs. Like, it's a lot of money. Definitely, definitely. And uh, to then start paying for guests, it's not sustainable because we don't. Make we, any money. We would run out of money really quickly and yep. we, it would fuck us up. Yeah. And for something like Slack Rack, which might not get that many people, no. and again, we concentrate on pretty much a niche a niche subject within hip hop, um, really good rappers, <laughs> which is weird that it's a fucking niche subject. But that's not what people love. But that's not what people love. People love basic shit. They love banging. Banging basic trap music yep. is what everybody seems to love right now. Or even like really basic boom bap, like shitty boom bap. Yes, uh, there's a lot of that. Uh, just they this love week, the beats. by the way. Everybody loves a boom bap beat. Oh, aye, aye. Even though they think it's simple. Well, that's, we were talking about this the other day. Um, I can't remember who we were talking about specifically, but um, we listened to somebody that does like trap music and stuff, and then they had a hip hop beat mm. that we heard on one of their albums. So yep. we had lis- listened to that. And automatically... Infinitely better. Infinitely better. Like, automatically changed to that boom-bap style, to, like, a, a nice rapping style. The, the, the new how to write a beat. Mm-hmm. That never happens in, in trap. No. Nah, it's the awful. same two or three flows. Yeah. And it's done the same way. Like, in boom-bap, you could have two or three styles of flow, but mm-hmm. even then, the flows change constantly. Oh, yeah. There's different ways to write the beat. There's different rhyme schemes that change the flow. That's very limiting in trap music. <laughs> or, if it isn't limiting, the rappers are shit because they've not really branched That's it. That's what happens a lot of times. Logic think, is um, like the one exception. 
Well, you've got you've got other and guys. Sir, you, uh, I think Sorok does some Sir trap Rock stuff. does some sort of trappy stuff. But again, you've got guys like Token Tech Nine. That's true. Uh, some of the faster rappers that go uh, towards that. Even Marlon Craft, actually, we have a bit of a trappy tune by Marlon Craft. Yeah. He's a guy that experiments a lot. Uh, again, all these guys experiment with different trap music, and I like the sound of like the trap beats and stuff. I like that sound, but I hate rappers on it. Mm. It just it fucking infuriates me. I hate most rappers on it. I should uh, clarify. Uh, so I, it's annoying. You know what I was thinking about the other day? I was a uh, sitting thinking about like UK hip hop, and we've always spoken about like if there would be a day that UK hip hop would get on the radio and stuff like that years ago. Right? So I remember hearing conversations with people. Thinking right soon, this is going to be on the radio. Like, was it the time when it was BBC uh, like one Radio stuff One like stuff like that? Basically, aye, yeah, yeah. I remember like being up at my pals, just like, a few doors up. Basically, no, it was BBC and Tradition at that time. Aye, aye, yeah. yeah. I, I just remember at that time, it's like talking about like because people did not accept UK hip hop for what it was at the time. No, they hated laughed the, off accent, the accent. Laughed off the accent. Uh, now, unfortunately, as much as we don't like it, like hip hop heads are fucking really hard to please. We've moaned for years and years about uh, UK hip hop getting on the radio. It finally is, but it's not the shit we like. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple that I'm alright with. I'm alright with like H. Mm. H seems to be quite good. H, H is alright. Is Lady good. Alicia on the radio? Not really, I don't think. No, really. She's dope. Aye. She's done dancing on ice. She maybe is actually. To be, I did see that the other day. I, uh, I don't know if she's actually on it or whether she was just performing that night. I maybe, don't really maybe. understand what happened there. Ah, uh, she just put the clip up on her uh, YouTube. Ah, uh, and it was like a short clip. Aye, uh, but she was on Russell Howard's Good News. How was she not on the radio at this point? She maybe is, but when's the last time you listened to the radio? Two minutes ago. Uh, but yeah, there's very short bursts. Uh, <laughs> we'll know it very often. We'll know it for like long road trips. That's true. So she might be on the radio. But again, hip-hop, hip-hop fans uh, forever are never happy. And I think even when we get to the point of Scottish hip-hop getting played on the radio, which might not happen... Again, that's still at the point of BBC Introducing. Exactly. And even then, this point. I've not heard anybody talking about, oh, I'm on BBC Introducing. Aye, aye. Uh, Maybe they've just stopped sending stuff in, because uh, you do need to send stuff in. So even when we get to, when we get to that point, it's not going to be the unpopular shit that, that we love. It's going to be trappy bollocks that everybody likes. Sort of thing. Is it almost an insult for us to like pe- people? No. Because if we like you, that means you're never going to sell any music. <laughs> Which, is, that's really sad, isn't it? That's really fucking sad <laughs> that, that when you've just mentioned that there. Because I was, I was always like, like, if we have like a much better acts on the podcast, we're going to get much more views and stuff. It, t- it turns out it's not as true as what I thought it yeah. would be. But I can, Why do I not like any mainstream acts? <laughs> I kind of, like at the very beginning, I kind of thought that would be the way it went. But actually having the fucking knowledge of doing this for a long time I mean, now. you've got things like people like J. Cole mm. and Jim Class Heroes, or at least Travis McCoy, yeah. who does a bit more than Bappy It's too stuff. few and far between. But it is, it's very rare. And even then it is, you can still tell the difference between like underground boom bap mm-hmm. and like commercial uh, attempts at sort of experimental boom bap yeah. it's not exactly boom bap but I wouldn't say it's trap either it's like a mix between the two and mm-hmm. and even then they're few, few and far between because mm-hmm. you've got like logic in that as well that's it, he that's done it. some boom bap stuff J. Cole uh, who else there isn't really many there's not very many at all I mean Mark Miller used to be good Buster Rhymes tried a wee bit tried to, wee, to bring that back a wee bit I feel like he'd be really good in boom bap um, is that his latest album aye aye he's done a track with M.O.P mm. I mean, he done an, an EP with Q-Riot. It, no, Q-Riot. It's a Scottish rapper. Glasgow guy. <laughs> uh, Q-Tip. <laughs> Amazing. So, aye, that's awesome. Shouts but, to Q-Riot. He's a good uh, rapper as well. Aye. So, well, basically, sorry to anybody on this podcast, but you're, yeah, you're not getting anything. Yeah, if you're on this podcast, you're, you're no sound on any music. <laughs> you'll get, like, you'll get to the point of, like, uh, and I feel like everybody can get to the point of um, 10,000 fans, I would say. I think so, somebody put this forward as... Uh, Are like, you talking about likes on Facebook? Just, just, I, well, like, just, 10, Jarb's like, just, 10, just like 10,000 fans. I think somebody put this up as like a sustainable thing. If you can get 10,000 fans, that could sustain you enough. Like as far as like album sales go and people coming to gigs and stuff like that, that could sustain you enough and on a sort of local level. 
that you could That's live the thing. Off Local. The music. It would have to be 10,000 fans in your area. Aye, aye. 10,000 fans worldwide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A bit more difficult. A bit more difficult to sustain. Yeah. You can't do gigs. But I think a lot of the Americans, like, uh, they could do quite well on like local things. Because mm. uh, well, you've heard of like Texan like rappers and stuff that are like fucking huge in those areas. Uh-huh. But, but we haven't. This yeah. is the, that's the thing. There was a... Oh, fuck it. I'm not going to get into that. But you've heard of these things in America. Like You can be big in like, those local areas and not get anywhere else, but you can be a fucking millionaire. <laughs> Like just in that small, uh, small area I'm talking about, it's like the size of fucking Texas, but you can't. Um, so I, that's cool. Uh, do we have anything else to bring up? Uh, the Snoop Dogg thing. We used to, oh, I was that bothered. Snoop Dogg and Eminem had a Snoop slight, Dogg's an idiot. I get, they had a slight beef. It was, it wasn't even a fucking big deal. And but, they, but, but they're the talking Dogg, again. Oh, are they? They're talking again. Snoop Dogg came out with that stupidness. I like it. Well, the thing Don't is... Don't make me clap back or something. Oh, what was fuck it? me. Fuck off, Snoop Dogg. Uh, Snoop Dogg thinks he's better because he's black. Mm. Which is a man thing. Does he think that? He, he th- I think you've made that up. No, no, but, but he well, he talks about like other black artists and he doesn't listen to Eminem. Oh, was that the basis of not liking Eminem? That was the basis of it, aye. Oh, right. No, that's did, bullshit. Then. Doesn't need to listen to Eminem shit. Oh, so now we're, now we're getting back to fucking... What was his name? That mutant. Oh, gee. Fuck. Ah, idiot. Can't oh, because Eminem was saying on the radio thing that he's like, yeah, I am a guest in hip-hop, but I am this, I am that. Mm-hmm. But why Why do you need to throw in the, like, the snide remarks? Ah, that, that, why was that that's necessary? That's and, and Snoop Dogg basically fucking, as we all know, people that listen to this podcast, we know Snoop Dogg's not, not as good as Eminem. We fucking know that deep yeah. down. Some folk won't, won't like to admit it. It's just a fucking annoying thing, and I don't know why, because it's fucking very plain and clear. Snoop Dogg was it first. Ah, oh, fuck That's why. Stupid. It's dumb. Dumb as fuck. It's like saying fucking Rakim is way better than... Right, who have we got in here? It's like saying Rakim is better than Hobson. Mm. Stupid. Or like Rak... Or the fucking... Big, big pun is better than Epidemic. Oh, aye, totally. Dumb. He's not. Mad dumb. Anyway, um, <laughs> I only said that because Epidemic done a a, a, a double that chip. a remix of oh, that yeah, song. Yeah, basically, yeah. So uh, we'll try and offend anybody else. We'll just get into music. I think. Mm-hmm. Going to kick off there with Verbs, Mister Slips, Nelson Dialect, track called Hope. Only a few who understand and appreciate. Only a few who understand and appreciate. Now these hunger pains got me chasing for the better 
Lost my way chasing rays of the sun In the grey cityscape where we chained to the funds Slave to mistakes, labelled by the ways that we'd lost Unable to trust, aiming for a place to adjust Believing in myself is a must For the sake of what I'm feeling, all I'm able to love Believing in myself is a must To enable me to heal when deal with changes it comes uh, Feel like bombing in 2001 Throw me out of spaceship, face shit that I don't Kaleidoscopic city light, pass by in a rush Trying to find a loved one till I turn it to dust Can't trust the computer that we got in our pocket Algorithm being sold to my soul for a profit Spot runners and tank tops and plot by a bus stop Clock for a dollar, hoping God is enough Common sense like water for chocolate Got a docket for the hybrid I'm a near digital socket That I plug into an eyelid Look at the problem No belonging to a world where sold is abundant Curb serving like the mass circle Expand virtual reality and write verbs in my life journal Time slips in the lane that I'm overtaking Lost grain of sand in the hourglass fading Buried my aunt, uncles, grandparents and cousins Young friends too, I cried so often Alcoholic and drug talks and nail a coffin To alleviate stress for a second they promise And now it's beyond flesh where the body deposit Astonishing, got their wings clipped up by the product Soft spoken and I'm humble among them But a press kid and publicist couldn't script the hunger I follow Hollow knowledge in the hologram, won't understand Pour this head cassette, take deck of Dutch in my hand Clutch paper then disintegrated over my fam 28th by a pen the same age that I am Abrahamic chain link to the prophet Brain shrink in the forest where the oxygen cut off your hand Handle it before it damage and dismantle your health My heart pinned to the lapel, a straight jacket of self Lost my way chasing rays of the sun In the grey cityscape where we chained to the funds Slave to mistakes, labelled by the ways that we'd lost Unable to trust, aiming for a place to adjust Believing in myself is a must For the sake of what I'm feeling, all I'm able to love Believing in myself is a must To enable me to heal when deal with changes it comes Only a few will what? understand and appreciate 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 go and take from here to Mozambique your whole damn fleet get rolled back deep yeah uh apply the thesis on the rhyming sequence scholar genius my defeats is with melodic treatments no sign of weakness saving on top of the totem pole jackets i'm rocking matching the moccasins and polo clothes uh we tapping the pockets and the opponents fold rather obnoxious master than locked in the poet flows Hey yo, the vibe's been awesome. Iconic Portland labels throwing deals to climb the morphous. I ain't seen nothing I like, and I don't sign extortion. Play the wind, dollar, and the dream, a lot of costers. Rappers chasing hoes, I taste vagina often. Supreme wisdom, body glowing, shining gorgeous. Shine the porcelain, have the toughest vision, size enormous. Times are awful, flag the justice system, shot the forces. Of a rider, fan signals from Nevada. Vegas strip, make the pick. Grab crystal with Nirvana. Hey yo, magic with the points. Taking the points, man. bets down, collect now. Stacking from the choice. Utica bread, Bruno Neil, super fly. Coolie high, walked out of jail, seen the tears flowing. That's my only cry. Humanizing pain, escape from the brutal times. Unify you and I versus the future lies. Dilemmas get contemplated. Threat of inoculation. Evidence blocks, shredded and chopped, dismember the population. Senator's observation. They meant it for confrontation. Led to the constellations. Argentation, plead for them to stop the hate. 
Incredulous shots they taken. No arrest of the cops are skating. They head in the boxes waiting. And in the darkest matrix, venom from toxic races. Worried about my seeds and my wife. As the enemy plots to say this natural decrease, yet they fighting for a pure breed. Ain't no Makes no sense. Ethnically diverse spices on the core scene. With my black wife up on the floor, see supremacists die and rich life all the poor seeds. Opens, uh, pen is extremely potent. My phone is extremely noted. No only show voting and showing them who's coping. You coping and heartbroken, claiming your art stolen. You trolling my page, moping, rolling my trees, choking. I'm hearing them songs, joking. And close waters of deep waters, I defeat borders. Keep haters closer and close, closer than my own daughter. I know what I don't know you. I will show you, show you a couple things you ain't know, like shooting some holes. I'm like, nah, nah, yeah, yeah, all day, okay, okay. This is wordplay, wordplay. 
city scared to talk to us And too confident cause they think they can walk through us No, 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 yeah, yeah And put them up, nigga okay. And put them up, nigga okay. And put them up, nigga And put them up, nigga See they scared to talk to us And too confident cause they think they can walk through us No, no to shoot a nigga with a flow that ain't hot When I shoot a bullet up in your leg, I make your hip hop Wanna do 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 it clever whether I make them kick rocks And do it deeply, I do it better to make them think not You ought to spit raps all night Nigga, you was wrong, got the pickaxe on sight Nigga, you was gone, got the jackhammer go Fro his style, got the fat bastard flow Fro spit wild, kick back half of the dough Half the terror band boo, nigga snatching your soul Never find me in Cancun, cattle, I kill them battle with million That don't be feeling them in a rap in my a matter of fact, I'm kidnapping and killing them. A lot of abilities, a lot of hostility, a lot of agility. Don't bother me, I'm honestly feeding frenzy. A friend of the Fonzarelli, I'm focused upon a feeble. This woman bullet hits your stomach, you feel possessed. Like, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, all day, okay, okay. This is wordplay, wordplay. See, they scared to talk to us. And too confident, cause they think they can walk through us. No, 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 yeah, yeah, all day, okay, okay. This is wordplay, wordplay. See, they scared to talk to us And too confident Cause they think they can walk through us No We some ancient living artifacts yeah. We some trash flowing rappers like the great Pacific garbage pack Take these written park and raps, greatest vision Started back and made some kick and making different tapes and ripping harder tracks oh. Laughing back and changing shifting shapes until we sharpen that skill Grab the marker pad and spark a fat bill We very fresh, we very biased Before we even stress the pile of fans rocking deli wreck collector's items Set the fire, set the bar, a few measures high Jesus made water, wine and slide low, pen saliva Endless rhyme is bending fire with the pins we ride with In a hot seat just to spy like Eddie McGuire Did very entice and slide low, got your head in a vice Grip wrestling fighters, feel the size of the venomous vipers Get me the lighter, skunk after tea time Find a way to ton pops, fold it onto street lights We tryna eat right her rappers turn salad with a bit of vinegar they need spice yes. Low flow and amazing, loading my games on my phone and I play them like a Motorola with snake in it You fake gimmicks ain't smoking the same strain as us, you raging dust Take a puff and turn your face to mush It was Verbs, Mr. Slips, Nelson Dialect with a track called Hope, The Quarter Inch Kings with Cultivate Growth, Rusty Jucks, Amadeus 360 The Beat King with Rap For Real, Terror Van Poo and Afro with Wordplay 2, Slide Low, d and Lob with All Over. Awesome. Slide Low, the Australian. Yes. Uh, guys we've played before, eh? mm. uh, we tried to get them for, We tried to get them for MF Boom, they didn't come on. Never even go back to him. And they're still getting on. And they're still getting fucking on. Just because they're good, man. It's annoying. We're, no, we're not pricks. See, that's the thing. You can snub us mm-hmm. and we're still going to play you if you're good. Who knows, man? We'll tag them in this. Fuck slide low. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit. We'll tag them in and if they get back, if they see it, then I'll fucking, I'll okay. measure them. So. I retract that previous statement. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. Aye, right, good. I'm just saying that after so if they, go to this, if they listen to this, we'll have someone great to talk about. And then I'm, don't skip. No. Like if, if they skip, sorry. I'll tell them specifically to like go and actually listen to the podcast. Right. But just before we actually talk about MF Boom and stuff like that. Awesome. Great. So we're at the MF Boom stage. We're now at the MF Boom stage of and the we podcast. And we should discuss something. We should discuss something. Um, this, uh, this section of the podcast was a dumb name that I came up with. Yes. Just um, based... Uh, 
just based on MF Doom. Yeah. It was just a fun name. Well, that's as a pu- as a rapper pun. Yeah. And it just it well, stands for Mike Monk's Fangs Boom. I don't know why I said boom. Just because it, it would. We fit. do that. We do that quite often. Like we'll say something and be like, ah, boom. Aye. And then we'll like clap our hands or like continue on with a conversation. Aye. Boom. And it felt only right to add that. And even the sample is taken from, uh, I think it was Benji Beats or Benji B or something like that, talking to MF Boom on one extra. MF, <laughs> MF, MF, MF Boom. MF Boom. Fucking MF Boom. Doom. MF, fucking hell. <laughs> still MF still Doom. Up. So I shall stay MF Doom for uh, basically making that a thing. Aye. Yeah, turns out he died. Aye. You can't even. You can't just. You can't make a joke. I'm not making a joke yet. You no, no, you, you're not making a joke yet. But you you really said it in a weird fucking way. Yes. You got us to that situation in a weird way. Turns out MF Doom died in October. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. we had no fucking idea. It they well, never released he, it. He actually died uh, two months before that. Should released the uh, news as well. Uh, they released it in December. So December, it was October I, he died, right? October Is that right? died, aye. And it, well, I was thinking even at this point they might have had like a cause of death, but seemingly not. I wouldn't have thought MF Doom would be that secretive. No. Uh, well, it's just his family, I think. Well, you wouldn't have thought the guy that wears a mask that tried to give his... would be that secretive. No, but like, to the point where nobody knew. Uh, nobody was, leaked it. Well, I totally had two months and nobody knew at all. Nobody even fucking... We have been in lockdown, to be fair. Not in America. They didn't come out there is in America. What are you talking about? We just spoke to fucking four elements and That's beyond. Folk that have chosen to fucking stay in. There's any day in lockdown in America. MF Boom, MF Boom, eh, fucking hell, Jesus. MF Doom eh, has been on lockdown, I'm assuming. Also, MF Doom didn't stay in America. Oh, do you know? That's probably. No. He was refused eh, back in. Right. After he moved somewhere else, he refused to enter back in. Oh, gee, right, I didn't get By that, didn't uh, Obama and Biden's government. Because oh. maybe we read about that, that Biden Yes, could played. you tell me this again? Because I didn't quite understand what you said. I cannot time. remember. Shit. Uh, but I remember reading it that uh, Biden, as vice, vice president, uh, sort of just stopped MF Doom getting back into the US right. after emigrating, so he had to die uh, in another fucking country. country. Jesus. And then they decided to play MF Doom. As a tribute. Fuck off. How about letting him back in? <laughs> That's a tribute. Letting him back his country. Yeah. Fuck me. Idiots, man. So I don't know the actual story behind that. It might have mm. been a genuine mistake. No. But there's also the possibility that it's not. So you never know. But uh, aye, that's just kind of bullshit that they so, used. Another thing I found out as well, a. Uh, God, it would probably been just about that same time that we found out he died. Um, I was listening to a lot of like MC Search stuff. Yeah. And like listening to interviews and shit, because he's got some great stories and stuff like that to tell. Yeah. What I didn't realise was he was in one of the music videos for a third bass. Yeah, the group he's in. MF Doom is? MF Doom, I. But he's as before MF Doom. So he's in uh, the Gas Face tune, which is the one that's got like a uh, Gilbert Gottfried and everything in it. He's in that tune. He raps in that. He's, he's MF able, Doom was in... Is in that third bass, gas face tune. Oh. He's, he comes under the Zev Lover X. I think he's like the third MC on there. Uh, he's the final one. So, oh. so that's MF Doom before MF Doom. Does he know where the He was in that? KMD at the time. KMD were like affiliated in some way with third bass. Right, That's okay. why he's on that tune, so... So that's a wee bit news for you if you didn't know. Uh, awesome. Didn't he wear the mask back then? The mask, not just big mental glasses. Because I'm not even sure what MF Doom looks like. Nah, not got a clue. Wait, he's got a stupid mask on. Has he? Has he done <laughs> interviews? <laughs> he's done a few interviews. Aye, aye. He's, he's not that secretive. I'm no. I'm not the type of person that like. I like a rapper, so I'm just going to search all the uh, interviews and that. I think, to me, that's like it's creepy, man. I think the thing about MF Doom is like he secretly. Although saying that, I do interview rappers, so aye, aye. What the fuck am I? I think you see the secrecy thing was like made it to look a lot worse than it was because he has done interviews and stuff like that. But I think um, he performs as MF Doom, but he writes as like different people a lot of the time. So he does. Nah, like, he's got a lot of different, different conceptual goes, stuff. I downloaded different... his discography once, aye. and it was. And you've got like MF like Graham and 50, fucking all that stuff. Fifty albums. It's aye. fucking ridiculous. He must have been just constantly like. Mm-hmm. But I reckon how. 
nobody's nobody kins all his albums. No, no. There's so. just no way that you can all the albums no. unless you sat and like properly, like actively sat down to study them. Because if you hang, you have to go through like KMD and Zev Levesque stuff as well. So like, here's some of the names: King Ghidorah. I didn't even fucking realise was like him for a long time. Uh, MF Doom, Metal Face, Metal Fingers, The Villain, Mad Villain, uh, Victor Vaughn, uh, he was in KMD, Danger Doom, JJ Doom. Was Danger Doom no him in Danger Mouse, sir? I think so, aye, aye, again. But I, I guess it's a, it's a, the... Which is a weird fucking... MF Doom and Danger Mouse. Aye, aye. What? <laughs> aye, it's, it's cool, man, it's cool. Uh, well, it's, it's not that cool that he's dead. That's, no. that's not what I said. It's just... Sorry, we, th- we thought, again, this was a while ago, but we've not done our show for a while. Right. And because the section of the show MF is named after MF Doom, yes. we felt it was only fitting to sort of talk about it and Absolutely. sort of acknowledge uh, that thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so now that we've got that out of the way, mm-hmm. we're going to get into our first MF Doom choice. So, what you'll know from the last time is that we started to do an instrumental section. And also about a rapper. Mm. So we're going to start off with the instrumental section. We play about a minute of the beat. So we'll get into that right now. This is um, OT Beats from Germany. Mm. What's the beat called, Stephen? Well, there's no point going into it. Because it's just (laughs) named like... Uh, It seems to just be descriptions that he's used to remind himself. So if you want the name of the beat, I'll tell you. It's TPCSC number 176 20N21. Uh, if you need to find it <laughs> somewhere, is there? Yeah, it seems to just be descriptions. That yeah, it lets him rem- remember what, what ones what. are. Right. It's probably catalogued in some way, which uh, doesn't so. help us because we have no idea. But exactly. So here's a TPCSC number one seven six twenty and twenty one. C number one seven six twenty and twenty one. Sick naming for the tunes, man. Awesome. Okay, we're going to get into the second MF room now. Choice that you made earlier on. Yes. Uh, this is GS the Dream track called Survival featured in Joy Andrea, guys from Flint, Michigan, which is awesome. You know what they say. Stuffing us in cages Or they running in our houses Say her name Breonna Taylor 
Sometimes I don't really feel like smiling, but I'll fake it. My niggas was family, now we not touching bases. Granny prayed so much for me, I knew she had some patience. And they kill me every day that you won't see me make it. You know I'm in my feelings when I'm switching up that cadence. Going through withdrawals cause I can't touch too many stages. And nah, this ain't the record they suggesting for your playlist. This the realest shit I wrote down in some ages. I'm just saying, it's survival. This ain't just some background music for you to vibe to. Welcome to survival. You ever had your teammates turn into your rivals? Nigga, this is survival. Well, nobody ever had my back the way that I do. It's all about survival. This the whole yeah. truth, like both hands yeah. on the Bible. Look, Tell you about my 2020 survival. taught me anything. It taught me plenty things. Fact. Like when shit get out of hand, you come to grips with things. Fact. Sometimes the one who plays the hardest doesn't get the ring. Fact. And if you really want to bubble, got to fix your team. Fix your team. Heavy losses at a tender age. Uh-huh. I had to deal with rage. If it wasn't for music, I'd be in the cage. Eight years old, I lost my mom in my beginning stage. To channel my emotions through a pen and page. And there you have it. A young nigga trying to bring you some truth. I bring my honesty and pain when I jump in this booth. And it ain't like I'm trying to transfer my struggles to you. I'm just trying to show you what I've been through. Nigga, I had to recharge. It took me years to drop Malcolm because I was fucking healing. I lost my granny, my aunt, my cousin, Uncle Gilbert. I'm supposed to recognize the love. Why you so unfamiliar? But you know what they say about what doesn't kill you. You know what they say. That was GS The Dream with Survival featuring Joy Andrea. We're going to see that. We'll see how that goes. Fucking awesome. Tune's no technically out until next week. No. Nah. But, but uh, it's available like to play and stuff aye. like that. So, so we thought we'd, we'd play. So they kind of break rules a wee bit. But it's not really yes, breaking rules. It, ha- it happens now and again. We have had to do that in the past. Aye. But, yeah. aye. That means we've got them on to actually talk about the release when it's out as well. Which will be aye, awesome. yeah. If he comes on. If he comes on. Yeah. As we know, we try and get the group in for yeah. next week and often get snubbed <laughs> often Sadly. actually to be fair we've been we've done not too bad but have we had like seven in a row and then like three or four in a row yeah so but I've just in it, I've just emailed like five or six mm. in the time that we tried to not do weekly shows right. and none of them responded <laughs> like producers rappers yeah none of them we did get in touch with five we got in touch with a group and they totally were like, yeah, yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll yeah, then we'll never responded. They never responded. Then I, I messaged back and they were like, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot, I was at work. Uh, and then never responded. <laughs> I love that even the courtesy email didn't work. Yeah. It's great. It's I, fine, he's probably just, he's probably just forgot. Just I, I didn't see any, any malice in that sort of no, stuff. No. I'm not going to go on my way to keep reminding people. No. Because I've got, I've got better things to do. Got shit to do. I've got shit to do, aye. I've got the next podcast to fucking prepare. <laughs> Uh, but um, aye there's no malice in it or anything so. I think it's about time to get into the interview we recorded just uh, yesterday was it yesterday? a couple of days ago wasn't it? No, it was, it was yesterday yes. yes this is an interview with Four Elements and Beyond ok so on the line right now we have a group that I've been looking forward to getting on for uh, for a little while we have Four Elements and Beyond we should have on the line uh, Freak the Monster Mig's son, Daddy, and Word Life. Uh, how are you doing, guys? Yeah. Peace, peace. Right, what's up? Thank awesome. you for having us, man. No problem, man. Like, as, as I say, like, we... I'm, I'm trying to remember who sent... Like, you... I think it was um, Vanja at uh, I Still Love Her. Like, it was a, a PR company that sent uh, the Four Elements and Beyond. Um, I think it was... Uh, uh, truly Yours... That we first received. Yeah. Oh, word. Kid. Okay. I'm off a of brushstroke. Yeah, Vanya. Yeah. Yeah, Vanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that was sort of when I first uh, heard you guys, and I've been wanting to get you on ever since then. It's just taken taken a bit of time. But uh, oh, it's word. awesome. Because oh. what was what interested me about you guys is uh, well, Migs and Freak the Monster are uh, obviously brothers. This is for anybody listening in. Uh, and sort of we have the same dynamic. Like uh, we are yeah. both brothers as well. Like how. Like, did you guys start this off, and then like, uh, word like uh, word came in later, or was this like, like, how did it all start for you guys? I mean, no, I wouldn't say that we started it off. It was kind of like, um, I mean, obviously us being brothers and living in the same house, like we've been doing, like uh, just bullshitting around with music for a long time since we were kids, and um, 
and we never really took anything seriously like that um until until like it started to feel like oh we kind of got something here let's let's kind of like um let's take this a little bit more seriously but I, i'd say at that point um you know I, when we met word life i mean i met him um i think in middle school and um or, or beginning of high school and uh at that point my brother uh Migs, who was he's three years younger than me i mean he he just was he was doing it along with us so it's like it was all naturally like we just all kind of came together and started making music and, and again it was like just kind of messing around to begin with but then it was like yo this shit is sounding dope let's mm-hmm. kind of crank it up a little bit and start taking it a little bit more seriously um as we went along and then you know here we are mm-hmm. did it originally start off as like um sort of but what a i thought it was a record label at the when I f- first heard about the sort of four elements uh, group that you'd set up, uh, did it start off like that, or was it, did it just sort of grow into you guys just working together simply? Was that? I think that's pretty much it. Like we never, uh, you know, never intended for it to be any kind of label situation where we were looking at other artists or anything. It was just, it was just our group name uh, that kind of naturally uh, got chosen and. Um, funny we first started it's always been feb the whole time but uh for anybody who, who knew us in the early days like the first couple of years we always was like fuck everybody uh and then after it was at that point we were like uh i guess the world was changing and we were like we want we want people to to really fuck with us uh and also just fit the vibe of our music we should come up with something a little bit more uh a little bit more eloquent for people to, to marketable, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, marketable, or just, or just something a little less like, you know, it's not like we're making like deathcore necro music where our whole audience is gonna rock with a fuck everybody, um, you know, mentality. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, Four Elements and Beyond was absolutely in line with you know what we because we're all hip hop heads to the core and we we rock with the, the entire culture from the very beginning. So we just thought, you know. Like we're bringing authentic New York hip hop that includes uh, references and, and flavors from the entire culture of four elements and beyond was just like a natural fit. Mm-hmm. And you all blend. Oh. Really, oh, sorry, were you going to say something there? Sorry, I'm done. <laughs> the delay causes a bit of an issue sometimes. We're good? Right, we're good, we're good. Sorry, as the delay causes a bit of an issue sometimes. It's quite annoying. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so you guys gel really well together. That's one thing I've noticed on uh, some of these tracks. Is, uh, so you, you've been working together for how long now, would you say? Oh, man. Almost uh, 20 years, at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably yeah. about 20 years. Right, 20 right. years. 20 years. Damn, I would be sick of you by that point. <laughs> I would imagine so. Yeah, yeah, I, I could not do that. Well, so, so what's it like for you? Like, do, do do you seem to like? Do you have like have a lot of arguments and stuff like that when you're trying to get uh, get forward and trying to push out some new music and stuff? Nah, not not really. Nah, we don't really. We we pretty we pretty much really in sync. That like the chemistry when you hear us rapping. It's pretty much the same when we're in the booth. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, everybody shines in, throws their little ideas, and, and we rock with the best ones, you know? But, mm-hmm. nah, we don't really, we don't bump heads a lot, I wouldn't nah, say. Nah, I'd say when we come together, it's pretty in sync. Um, I mean, we all kind of come to the table with different ideas. Um, you know, definitely, obviously, all, like, respectful of each other's ideas and, and, um, and what we want, like, you know, creatively. And we bounce ideas off of each other, and it's just very natural that um, we, we come together and uh, and we get on the same page what we, what we, with uh, what we think is dope. And um, and it really it does shine through in the music. And, and a lot of times with us doing music together as a group, um, you know, we want to make sure we're in the same place because it's just not the same when you're kind of bouncing ideas off each other through through the phone or a chat or whatever. And, you know, once we sit down together and we, you know, you know, sip a little something or whatever and start vibing, it's just magic. And I think it's it's funny because like uh, a lot of groups, there there there's always you know people debate over who's the illest member in a group or who who is just there for this purpose or uh, you know with us everybody might have their own flavor, but like 
I don't think there's a clear line of like, you know, who's the strongest MC or, um, you know, I think it varies maybe from track to track if you really want to analyze it, who got who, but I think that all of us are always trying to, you know, like come with the illest rhymes that, you know, that, that we feel like coming with, you know, for, for the occasion, for whatever the beat is. But I think we all are constantly like upping one another. So you could you could debate over who has the illest you know verse in a song, but if you want to debate who's the illest of the three of us, we like to keep it a tough debate. Mm-hmm. Do you do you like competing against each other, or does it just work that way that you all go in with the best verses you can muster, and it just happens that one person is the best at this point, one person is the best at the other point, or do you actively go in as a competition? It's cool, like because it's like active competition. It's like the line of battle and stuff as well. It's like that, that's what makes better tracks. Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think it's like a like a like that's not like a, a something that's like brought up or anything like that. We don't even have those discussions. It's it's more about just like us understanding the vibe we're going for on whatever track, and us just you know putting the pen to paper, just going in, and um you know we'll we'll spit our verses to each other or we'll lay something down or whatever, and it's just like always you know it's like oh my god, fucking you bodied that shit or whatever, and it's like <laughs> maybe it'll make you want to go back and and re <laughs> and rewrite something or whatever. But uh, it's not like it's not like it's uh, that's something that's that's said that's like all you know we're in competition. Or something like that. But it's that like, you, um and we, and we got the bars that resonate with you where it, you listen to the joints and then like w- we're fucking with each other's verses you know off rip. But then you listen to the joint like five more times and you catch other other lines that you know someone else said and you're like oh my god like that should just li- raise it to another level. Mm-hmm. Um, w- w- yeah, thing- I second that. It's not. It's- it's not competitive, like, it's, it's more, for me at least, it's not competitive, it's more, let's, you know, let's, what, what we vibe in, where, where the vibe is, and let's, let's put the best, you know, best foot forward, you know what I mean? It's not really like, oh, I got to outdo Freak, you know what I'm saying? I got to outdo Mix, it's not really like that, it's more like, let's put the best sound, let's put the best verse, the best flow, and the best sound on this beat. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah, it's not. Yeah, definitely. It definitely will be more towards um, complimenting each other. You know what I'm saying? Because like that's the vibe we want to give off, and um, I mean, I'm sure we'll touch on it um, on this. But with our new album coming, I mean, the shit that you know is on this, the way we the way we vibe with each other on that is, is unlike anything we we put out. Mm-hmm. So well, yeah, I, I, like it's, it's it's not an internal thing. Like we don't talk about it amongst ourselves. Like we we like Freak said. It's like you know <laughs> we don't have a. Uh, a breakdown of who you know body who on a track because it's never like that but yeah. i think the 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 natural competitive nature of like uh of hip-hop i think that's what that's what fans listen to and that's what people like it's fun it's fun to just like listen over and over and like and kind of decide like oh yo somebody, somebody in on this beat or whatever and uh you know just kind of do like a mental ranking um but yeah like as far as us creating and us working together like it's, it's definitely not a thought that we have um, it's it's an afterthought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome to actually hear you guys sort of vibing off each other like through these tracks as well. It's so good to hear, and uh, some of the some of the beat choices on these tunes are fucking fantastic. We I, I think it played um, Megs a few weeks ago, and he had picked, uh, and this is just to show like how like. These guys like love their hip hop and shit. Like, uh, you done to a Leaf Dog beat on the mixtape. That was awesome. That was yeah. fucking awesome. So like, these guys know their hip hop. They fucking pick awesome, awesome beats all the time, constantly. So, I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought that was really dope how you actually played that on the same episode that you uh, interviewed Flip Trick. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like you know, ever since I found out about. Um, about those guys, um, I've just been a fan of everything that they've been putting out, you know. And they yeah. and talk about a label like that's a super label. Yeah. Uh, High Fo- High Focus has tons of uh, adult artists, so um, I'm definitely inspired by them and their their work ethic and their style, everything that they put out. So, um, you know, I thought it was fitting to to you know just express my interest in that just by rhyming over one of Lee Dog's beats, and um, you know, of course, it uh, it did what it did. Mm-hmm. Again, that, that, that was like I didn't even really think about it at the time because we 
interviewed Flip Tricks, I think it was like two or three weeks before. Yeah, yeah, it was way before, yeah. Yeah, so like uh, <laughs> just that natural mar- marriage of the two things happened uh, ah. sort of weirdly. <laughs> I, so, I didn't even notice that it was a leaf dog beat until I went back and listened. See, I, I knew straight away and that's kind of why I chose it because I, I love that beat. Right. Um, oh, wow. So that was, uh, so yeah, quick magic shit. Right. <laughs> Yeah, a high focus is like uh, yeah. No, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of fire on that mixtape, man. Yeah, a lot of heat makes really makes you really black on that. You know that. Yeah, look. What are you gonna say? I was just gonna say that we consider high focus to be sort of like the UK version of like Rhyme Sayers or Mellow Music Group or something like that. Mm-hmm. There's not very many of them in the UK, sure. unfortunately. But I mean, we've got a lot less people, yeah. so you kind of get away with that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could not really pick a better a better group uh, in high focus. Awesome. So, uh, so how has everything been for you guys? Like, um, obviously with the kind of COVID overtaking everything, kind of ruining gigs for like a, almost a whole year, basically. Like, what's everything looking like at the moment in uh, New York and Philly and stuff? You still in lockdown and stuff? Shit. Yeah, we're we're super locked down and uh, still. I, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, like what the near future looks like as far as doing live shows. Um, I just did my first and only um, virtual show back in uh, in October on Halloween, mm-hmm. um, which that was fun and it was dope. But it's you know it, it's definitely not the same thing. And uh, there's nothing like doing live shows, and I, I just can't wait for that moment <laughs> when it opens back up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, New York's pretty much in the same position as Philly. I mean, we're all close to each other. It's like, everything's pretty much like locked down. I mean, you, you know, there's stuff you can do and all that, but it's like, you know, no one's really trying to go out and do shit. But um, mm-hmm. so it's really killed a lot of stuff this year, um, like everywhere else. But um, I mean, I, like you got to try, like, I mean, for me, I'm sure other people, too, you know, you should try and find the silver lining and things. And um, with us, I mean, we're in the middle of doing an album. Mm-hmm. And um, it sucks that we haven't been able to get get up as much as we we normally would for an album. But you know, being like locked in the crib, like it, you you it gives you a chance to um to you know creatively to uh, to really lock in and uh and you know go to work with your pen game and with me with producing and stuff. So I've been able to find much more time to do things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we noticed that a lot way a lot of rappers that we've interviewed. Have, there was a guy Kinetic who just started his own like. Was that a PR company? Yeah, he basically started, he just doing, started doing, doing graphics PR, yeah. and started doing social media campaigns and stuff like that. He just really took the the time and lockdown and just went, fuck it. If I'm stuck in here, I may as well do some work. And he exactly. Just I mean, you can't, be, yeah, you can't just shut everything down. It's like you got to look for a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, the, the whole mixtape, um, it basically happened as soon as, uh, as soon as the lockdown started. Like I was in, you know, I was in the house and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't going to work every day, so I was like, you know, shit, let me just uh, take these, like, three joints that I already had out, and um, and I compiled all the rest of the beats, and really, it was, like, in a matter of just a couple weeks, like, maybe two weeks, I, I was, I had, what, 15 tracks written, mm-hmm. and was like, you know, I was going, because I was, I was in that zone immediately, which I was blessed, because I know a lot of other artists, uh, even, like, some, some friends of mine, like, you know, posting about how they were struggling um, with dealing with the, the change and, um, you know, for whatever reason, whether it be, uh, the actual, like, physical change of, like, of your lifestyle or just the, like, the mental and, and, like, emotional shift that was going on that they weren't able to necessarily tap into their creative side. So, um, I was really lucky to, to get that. And then, again, we had the FBB album already, uh, like, in the works. So, so we had that momentum as a group as well. So we really, um, I think we really took advantage of the time that we had to, to knock some good work out. Mm-hmm. I think one of the great things, um, <laughs> if we can attribute COVID to, for having great things, is giving people a chance to sort of like, like, again, like you said, you're in the process of making the album and it gives people a lot of time to actually sit and go over stuff a lot more than what they would usually do. So you're getting some fucking amazing amazing tunes coming out because people have been able to like rewrite constantly and re-go over stuff and uh, do you find that with, with your stuff uh, more recently 
Yeah, I mean, um, uh, go ahead, Chico. Uh, no, go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I mean, yeah, that is kind of just like another kind of side effect of this where it's like it gives you that chance, that time to kind of um, step back and reassess a lot of things. So, um, you know, yeah, I mean, we're not like – we normally would love to be doing way more shit. I mean, like, you know, shooting some videos and obviously doing some live shows and all that. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's given us uh, way more time, I'd say, to, to, you know, communicate with each other, and, you know, albeit it's not in person um, a lot. But, uh, but as far as, like, conceptualizing our album and stuff, I mean, we've had a lot of, um, like, vibe sessions over the, over the past few months um, through, you know, video chats and all that to kind of bounce ideas off each other. It's just... It just sucks, man. It's just like it's nothing. Like I said earlier, nothing can compare to being in person, especially when you got the group element and the chemistry that you know that we got as a group. Because mm-hmm. nothing, nothing tops that. Awesome. So, uh, so uh, you yeah. mentioned videos at one point. Is there is there a possibility of videos, or is it just way too strict to get anything done? No, no, no. It's, a, it's definitely a possibility. It's going to happen soon, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's just a matter of going about it wisely and safely. You know, nobody's trying to, um, you know, not for the sake of a, of, of a video, be out here like, you know, gooned out with a whole bunch of people and, you're, and with, you know, <laughs> COVID floating around and all that. I'm not trying to get <laughs> sick or anything like that. Um, but but <laughs> there's definitely way, you know, there's ways creatively to still make it, to still shoot the videos and still make it dope, you know, how we want to come out. Yeah. I've seen I've seen a few music videos. Uh, People are making good use of masks, just getting cool masks and shit. Oh yeah, it's, uh, that seems to be a big thing. Creative outlet. Well, I've seen a few music videos that have been like uh, like too many people in the one area. Well, the Rugged Man video for <laughs> WAP. Did you, did yeah, you see that man, Rugged Man video? Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, you got like models and stuff yeah, in the video. Yeah, like models well. shaking their ass on his face and that. He's it's like ah. Oh, oh, yeah. I haven't yeah. seen it, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Un- you know, I think I have like mixed thoughts about it because it's going to be funny looking back on like just this period of time. There was a, a, like all these music videos that came out with people wearing masks, and uh, you know, on one hand, it feels like like you know, I, I, like a dated you know thing to to put in a video that I, I try not to think about. Um, but on the other hand, it, it also, like you said, there is a way to kind of flip it and make it into a uh, you know a thing. Where it's not just you're wearing a mask because you have to wear a mask, but maybe it's like part of the video, part of the set, or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually shot. I actually shot a video um, during the COVID, and um, I remember, like, yo, do I do I keep the mask on or do I take it off? And it was just like natural. I just, I just like had it one ear, and then like it just became natural. It's almost, you know, I mean, I don't know how it is over there, but it's almost part of the part of the outfit now. Yeah. 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 It's very similar over here as well, yeah. At least it's, for uh, us. At least for us, yeah, yeah, basically. Um, so, f- when can we expect the album out? Or like, are you like, are you really close to finished on this? Uh, I'd say, um, well, probably as far as like the, as far as like the, um, the, the recording process and everything uh, with all the tracks we got, probably about eighty percent done with it, seventy-five to eighty percent done with it. Um, it's def- it's going to be coming out this year. Um, we just we can't have an exact timetable for it just because like there's so many unpredictable factors, you know, with this whole stuff with the with the COVID stuff and being able to meet up and and actually um, you know hammer out the rest of it. Um, but we're dropping. I mean, we're dropping some stuff along the way. Our approach to this is actually like there, we're, we're kind of shifted it because of the COVID and um and the, just the adjustments you have to make and and so we're gonna we're gonna be releasing um some more like basically what you would call singles, but I mean basically tracks off the album every so often and mix in with some videos and stuff uh, just because it's, it's taken a little bit longer than we wanted to. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And we should expect a music video with a social distance model and as well, that'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> as many as we can find, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, guys, thank you for joining us, man. That's been much appreciated. Yes, sir. Thank oh, you yeah, thanks for having us. No problem thanks at all.
are majestic and authentic like an arm feel. The cloth that we cut from's nothing but God tier. Elements and mineral charm wear. Minimal charm here. Stay on your guard, men are all armed here. The hardware used to capture the grace had to be laced. I rattle the cage, blow your beat to the back of your face. Charcoal after taste, leaving a trace of acid in your veins. Too much to make you a basket case. The voice vet, rhyme game, Johnny Fontaine, smooth with it. Each tune vicious, reaching new limits. The crew dipped in orange and blue, cooking a few dishes. True business, moving pictures through the Louvre entrance. The fume drenches the room when the L is spark. My melon scarf from intelligent thought. The letters sharp, let us stray from the light and hell is dark. Let them talk. I pen a dart, your heart is forever marked. Uh, elevation, that's my motivation Break the grip of Satan, no more victim of my temptations Penn Station nearby, when I got a versatile Burn a fuel, mental terminal, that's Penn Station Never gave statements, slave of the great pavement Where they trade wages in exchange for deranged favors Righteous ways weigh heavily, temporarily Till I face an L, make hell seem heavenly Grace melodies, freak on the drum pad Beef better dumb fast on beats, I'm a scumbag Spangler shards, not at all for the faint of heart. I'm God's gift, sun hits, where the saint of dark. You unrelatable, it's not hate, I ain't mad at all. Mad at all or the raging bull. Play it cool, you don't want a box. Unless you want a box to call home while your body rides. Yeah. Pop a good cork, swish it, then catch the vision. My digits stay dusty like historic statisticians. At the core of this, my aura is vintage. I crashed the kitchen off the top rope. My goal is to score you with rap incisions. I went from triple folding to out, growing the money clip. I'm Michelin tripping. You Mickey D in with your honey dip. That technician chef whipping that funky shit. Ain't no chance in hell you fucking with my bros. I'm in the bunker with. Fell seven times, but rose eight. A bolt cutter to your closed gate. My foes met, they hold fate. You don't make my tone quake throughout your zone and make your bones break. Flipping low key, like I done so weight. That cold state, the apple where them Tim souls meet. The concrete, hug your moms and kiss your kin folks cheek. The sins flow, but no, we never let that info leak. Getting high off that f till that thing go beat. What up? Slow money, no money, get your papes up. Act tough for six quarters, get your face touched. Dirty product in the case, keep it taped up. No crumbs left, everything is scraped up. Slow money, no money, get your papes up. Act tough for six quarters, get your face touched. Dirty product in the case, keep it taped up. No crumbs left, everything is scraped up. On the path to find it, lamb land in the lap of a lion, laughing and crying with the magnifying glass to rewind, looking back at time. Look so long, I forgot to live. God forbid they put a nail in the coffin lid, and I don't give what I got to give. You gotta play your part before you cross the bridge. A bird perched on the grand set, there's a whole lot of devils in the man's head. I agree, I can see him dance in my skull. There's some things that we can't control. They said he saw it all from a tree and on, trying to guard the light from bright days to the darkest nights, and that the pain of life was a part of the fight that made a saint of the Buddha and the martyr. Of Christ, in fact, as the world pirouettes and the mother of all reflects back what exists in us. The aim is to learn what I came here to learn. I was Edenville bound, but I missed the bus, missed the train, mystified. Mr. Ten, how do you feel? Like Harry Holler, a Howard Bill, trying to tighten those schools with the power drill. To lay the foundation on sacred ground, I gotta build, even when you break me down. I gotta deal with myself or escape this town. In the belly where the venomous snakes abound, a barbed wire crown, hunkered down, safe and sound with the blinds drawn. I let my mind wander and explore. The depths we get pulled in the ocean when the tide's strong. All in a dream, all in a vision. All is forgiven when the walls of a prison fall to the earth with the bang. And you don't have a scapegoat, you're the only person to blame. Focus in, look at faith in broken limbs and a man with the cobra skin. He asked for a hand that you won't extend. It had an 80 milligram and a dope syringe. All in a dream, all in a vision. All is forgiven when the walls of a prison fall to the earth with the bang. And you don't have a scapegoat, you're the only person to blame. Came from the city of the lost, where everything pure gets nailed to a Cross. Every now and then you escape the facade. Every deep breath you inhale the exhaust. The mind adapts, I need reminders to mind the gaps. And the paradigms designed to bind and trap. You can bite and scratch, split hairs with the iron axe. But don't throw me in the briar patch through a glass dark. Line is bats with no road signs or maps. On the path to find a land, land, and a lion. 
lions lap while the trumpets blare and the sirens blast. Yesterday I had a debt to pay, I owed apologies for my escapades with no rhyme or reason for the mess I made. It was Dionysian, but that's to pray. I'm adept at laying to rest all the best things when the needle hits a red on the pressure gauge. Kept in a cage, suppress a rage till it builds up and we go our separate ways. All in a dream, all in a vision, all this forgiven when the walls of a prison fall to the earth with the bang. And you don't have a scapegoat, you're the only person to blame. Focus in, look at faith in broken limbs and a man with the cobra skin. He asked for a hand that you won't extend. It had an 80 milligram and a dope syringe. All in a dream, all in a vision. All this forgiven when the walls of a prison fall to the earth with the bang. And you don't have a scapegoat, you're the only person to blame. Came from the city of the lies, where everything pure gets nailed to a cross. Every now and then you escape the facade. Every deep breath you inhale the exhaust. Excuse me, sir. What's the time? Chop the head off of false idols, top of the statue, set them ablaze. T. Donald, make Ronald Reagan turn in his grave. Season discrimination, sprinkle a little sage. Add a dash of hatred, eat it and get on stage. Chase it down with some poverty, add a splash of the murder ain't. Regurgitated and spit out rage Sit in a circle of 13 candles and smoke haze Thinking we should miss Christ Christmas will make you a slave Lactose intolerant at birth Never phased by the race for chasing American cheese in a maze In fourth grade a play Scrabble Scramble the letters in the name Santa Magnified in the sight with the clauses in the game Nauseating, I'm angry Bill Bixby, exorcist Make the president's head 360 Emergency, you should monitor the mercury in your thermometer Witchcraft Immortal, paranormal phenomena The dark side of the truth No apology, carbon monoxide In the booth, do not follow me Please do not breathe You are now listening to killer bees In my lungs when I wheeze Hex for the Klux Klan Clues for the alt-right Enchanting incantations for their adult life Flows over throw pharaohs and kill Caesars Iris inside of an isosceles pilot to Nebuchadnezzar Heaven Seven orifices over crossed fibulas Spit a poison dart through the heart of Caligula Colt 45, vehicular homicide Insidious, the meticulous way that I've arrived It's Colt 45, Ridiculous, so sublime, ridiculous, though you pick what his flow is so conniving. Generation degenerated and apathy with empathy degraded her from my 
Not some posey, I'm the podium's debate They claim a cat and ass to not but merely floating sanitation See the passes on parade from the crosses at the station There can be no civilians in the war for information Vacation to see the world in its foreign occupation To kill brown and yellow folk to advance the corporations For Billy and Bobby blowing minds out in for news to come home fucked and naked and franked up the state trooper With a badge and a gun and a license to hunt And a fresh lake kill on the side of a stump With his sworn allegiance to harass and confront Swinging Long dick in the law, deep in liberty's cunt Ash in the blunt, Jurassic, triple leaves Don't apply to me, no kids and dog pens Are exempt from the accuracy I keep so hate my country Just the man she keeps the promises A red, white, and blue blood stain We die anonymous Victim of the metropolis Neon flashing, failure bombs and monuments I don't hate my country Just the man she keeps the promises A red, white, and blue blood stain We die anonymous Victim of the metropolis, neon flashing, failure bombs and monuments. Fuck down to live again, defining the dividend through smoldering ash, past the rhyme of the dissident, the Kennedy program. So square that on whole bands. Look at us victimized, a host to the new scam of factory lines, flood new company store order, shakingly man panic and trying to the new torture. You taught me everything. I learned in your schools, community shape raped and prayed for the clergy too. Yet I am a prodigy, yo hating the better man, the ignorant no. God, your God, and your government, the gas and new radical. Your children who fight wars, the vulture of capital. Parading its drug laws, the bush gets glorified through sanction and dignity. We beat in the culture clash by flag of obscenity. Hey, you double fucked and that your ass is a Kennedy, cuz. Uncle Sam gon' spread those cheeks just to show you free. Yo, I don't hate my country, just the man she keeps the promises. A red, white, and blue blood stain, we die anonymous. Victim of the metropolis, neon flashing, failure bombs and monuments. I don't hate my country, just the man she keeps the promises. A red, white, and blue blood stain, we die anonymous. Victim of the metropolis, neon flashing, failure bombs and monuments. Get 
the better. I'm a young black male trying to make a sale. Day job through the week, but drop the beat, I never fail. And lately, I've just had some bars up in my head. Ayo, hey, flex, let me bust a little flex. In the work of the lab of the trap, I'm on my way to the bag. Keeping my shit on a low, man, I'm moving my own, and I'm not trying to brag. Think could just let me the pack? Guessing I'm back in the lab. Then I might hit up the dance, now I'm busting the wire, man, it's spliffing the mag. You know my money to stack, I'm trying to weigh up the facts. Times when the profit is good, time when the profit is mad, sad. That's why I'm dabbling in more than one thing. I make it double every time it's coming in. I wrote this verse for all my niggas out, trapping on the low. All my nine to five niggas, man, I know it drains your soul. I said why I'm speaking on the verse, G, to let you know that both worlds still collide. We all in the same boat. Lately, daily, I've been moving, waving, nigga, on the floor. My niggas living in the old side, cropping up a grow. My other niggas got a business, he just bought himself a home. Went from sets at youth club to seeing everybody grow. By a bonfire, burning our bridges, chewing their flesh like sweets. Soon they'll arrive to inspect my teeth. Cover that stain with a fresh white sheet. Are you losing your mind at such? Drop your face in a sink again. Replaced by a bright red snooker ball. Eyes drawn on with a silver pen. I asked that mug what the problem was. He built off a list of some richer men. Then ran up in a club with a dagger in his mouth. Now he's staggering around trying to swing for them. It's like, please, life's not as bleak as it feels. Coughing up phlegm while you're eating your meals. I feel the cup lean, then I said, Miss, this is your train wreck. I'm just greasing the wheels. She necked it back, then stumbled inside with a drunken excitement that creeps her heels. We sold our souls to the man at the door, but the grams of the raw short sweet and the deal. You can shut your mouth off and we lost him I tell him when I'm talking to your skin It's not a problem, I'm just checking if you're real Real, what you said it was the deal Deal, you're a man, it was the deal I said hold my head for a minute, I'll be back in one sec I've been out here getting burnt, I've been getting upset You are not a real one, I was out here, you are unfair In a full clown costume, thinking they gotta send somebody seen. Boy scouts boil up drunk on a spoon. A bride since seat in the guts of the green. The last of the year got sucked from the room. And then she ran like a puncture balloon. We danced all night to an old funk melody. One week later, she fucked all ten of me. Whispered in my ear, this a law, then messily and slipped me a pill that erased my memory. Use this bitch. Two swift kicks to the crutch, had me pulling my words from mid air. Bear kids trying to get in my head. You'll never find your purpose in there. I sat behind it, burning his hair. Somebody put this virgin in care. I sneak out every evening to feed the packs of wild dogs. The circle is there. She spent her life in a toy box. And all the devil's children are teething. That explains that chewed off smile now. Somebody check if she's breathing. I'll be right back. You were all backstage to win bear gap. Vampires out and the blood is on tap. All safe havens drop off the map. Bear crushed tablets filling that gap. Filling that gap. All of the insects call for a crack. She's used to wear a shell, we used to work well My goons prefer hell, the universe fell at my lap You can shut your mouth, I feel we lost them I tell them when I'm talking on your skin It's not a problem, I'm just checking if you're real Real, real, what you said it was the deal Deal, you're a man, what's the deal I said hold my head for a minute, I'll be back in one sec I've been out here getting burned, we getting upset
How you gonna get clean with a sap school by the blood bridge? For track, he only wins a time. Scars, a memory, I energy, you can you hold inside. Scars, remind her of the past, and you're skinning in your mind. Or just a sign that you've been hot, and you had to draw the line. Scars, attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention. Attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention. Attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention. What? And I've got scars, scars, so pay attention. Dawning on the edge, you want to take a burning jump. All the emotions building up, now I feel like I've just been cut Tears are streaming through my eyes, I can hardly even see As I'm going back and forth, with the voices in my head Saying, come on bro, you got this, you just need to believe The other one saying, no, you'd be better off dead It's like a never-ending conversation, thoughts are getting deep Try to pull myself together, but I can't if any peace Cause the heart's really behind for track, he only wins a time Scars, a memory, a energy, you can not hold inside Scars, remind her of the past, and you're skinning in your mind Or just a sign that you've been hurt, and you had to draw the Scars, attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention. Attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention. Attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention. And I've got scars, scars, pay attention. I vandalize myself, I'm no scared, turned up scar. I won't be verbalize emotion, my veins sharp to sharp. Trump, feeling fully fit and fixed, healing up his heart. But I'm a well, my way, I'm a well, my way. Myself, I'm not scared to end up scarred I can't wait to cause commotion My pain's rotten the stars Feeling fully fit and fixed Feeling up with heart But I'm a well my way I'm a well my way Mice could flood an empty street They don't hear us when I talk So I don't listen when they speak Mace, troops are full of air And all the rest are full of grade Then our day is just an hour Day closer to we're our date And I your words are cutting deep I bet his blade will cut his deep oh, For blood drains through my head I think I'll make myself a bleeder So the suffering and world Was my only way to escape So I just suffocate your love With all my self-inflicted hate Cause the heart's really behind for track He only wins a time Scars, a memory, a energy You can't hold inside Scars, remind her of the past And you're skinning in your mind Scars, just a sign that you've been hot and you had to draw the line Scars, attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention Attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention Attention seeking, seek her, seeking the world's attention And I've got scars, scars, pay attention I vandalize myself, I'm no scared, turned up scar I won't need verbalize emotion, my veins sharp to sharp Trump, feeling fully fit and fixed, healing up his heart But I'm a well, my way, I'm a well, my way Myself, I'm no scared, end up scarred I can't wait to cause commotion My pain's rotting the stars Feel, Feeling fully fit and fixed Healing up with heart But I'm a well my way I'm a well my way Okay, so that was an interview with uh, Four Elements and Beyond Fucking awesome interview um, Then we played Taped Up right after that and then we played Decca All in a Dream, which was a suggestion from Jama from Rap FC from Australia. Fucking awesome suggestion. I, I got this the the track sent through through a uh, Diamond Media three hundred and sixty as well, which is awesome because I totally forgot to get in touch with the guy first. So it was great to see like other people sending stuff out, which I've already been had like had suggested and shit. So it's awesome. maybe we'll try and get Decca on for an interview at some point. Definitely, I'm definitely going to contact him after this. Uh, then we had the 13 and Faro Munch with Cult 45. Speak the Rebel with Red, White and You. Flex the Foreigner and Time Elijah with Regular Degular. Some fantastic <laughs> names of these fucking <laughs> tunes, man. Uh, Jam Baxter and Some Guy, which is another great name, with a track called uh, Salsa Valentina. Then we had Steg G and CCTV. We're going to be talking about, which is perfect timing to talk Was about. Was that last week? Aye. Uh, Staging CCTV with scars. That gives us time to bring up. We have a few specials in the works right now, eh, as as far as podcasts go. The first one I think we're probably going to get finished because we've like already spoken to a couple of people that we want to get 
involved in this. It's going to be the Scottish Ship Up special. It's only really right that we start with the Scottish Ship Up special. Yeah, yeah. Because we are Scottish guys. We've got most of the tunes sorted out that we want. We have spoken to the guy that's going to help us host the podcast. Um, unfortunately, we lost the other one. I don't know if we've mentioned it before, but... He's just not coming on. He's just not coming on. Like he's no, he's no dead. I mean, no, no, he's no, he's no dead. Uh, so I, uh, we've got that sorted out, which the guy is Steg G. So I'm basically a hip hop, a Scottish hip hop legend. Yep. For fuck's sake, and we've got his group at CCTV coming on as well. So that's going to be perfect, perfectly lined up. Scuba, amazing. <laughs> uh, do we have anything else to bring up before we? Leave nah, this mate, we're, done. we're done. Let's okay. fucking end it there. Perfect. Uh, so as you will have realised, we're on like uh, Spotify and stuff again, and speakers and all that shit. So yeah, follow us if you want. That'd be awesome. Like us on Facebook, BTN Media. All that shit, man. All that shit. And a uh, Patreon, BTN Media. I think. Patreon, BTN Media. You can sponsor you can us. Help us pay for Slick Rick. <laughs> if that's really on your uh, on your mind, let's say if that. we go up to like four hundred dollars a month, we will get Slick Rick. Is oh. that is that fair? We can do that. Because it's never going to happen. Probably. So it's a, it's a fair thing to right. get. Awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> right, so we're going to end there.